binomial distribution, the expected value, standard deviation and variance. If a standard variable x belongs to a binomial distribution with a number of trials n and the probability of success p, then the expected value of x is equal to the number of trials times the probability of success. And the variance of x is equal to the number of trials times the probability of success times the probability of failure. Example 1. A biased coin is tossed 80 times. If the probability it shows tails is 65%, find A, the expected value of X. Well, the expected value of X is equal to NP. In this case, the number of times the coin is tossed is 80. The probability that it shows a tail is 65%, which is equal to 0 0.65. So the expected value of X is equal to 80 times 0 0.65, which is equal to 52. B, the standard deviation. Well, the standard deviation is equal to the square root of the variance of x, which is equal to the square root of npq, which in this case is equal to the square root, n is 80, p is 0 0.65, if, if, if P is 0 0.65, Q is 1 minus 0 0.65, which is 0 0.35, which is equal to 4.27 to 3 significant figures. And C, that the probability of X is greater than mu. Remember, mu is the mean. But mu is equal to the expected value of x, which in this case is equal to 52. So we want the probability that x is greater than 52. Remember, with this sort of question, we are looking for a range of values. Because it is greater than 52... Our range of values, we want the probability that x is between 53 and 80. We will use binomial CDF. N is 80. P is 0 0.65, lower bound 53, upper bound 80. And when you work it out, the probability that X is greater than 52 is equal to 0 0.458. And seeing as the question was as a percentage, we'll give it as a percentage, which is 45.8% of the time. Example two. In a golf tournament, the expected value of players who will break par is 7.2 and the variance is 6.336. Find A, part one, N, A, part two, P. We know for an expected value in a binomial distribution is equal to NP. We also know that the variance in a binomial distribution is equal to NPQ. 
Therefore, NP is equal to 7.2. NPQ is equal to 6.336. Therefore, Q is equal to NPQ divided by NP. NP cancels with NP. And that is equal to 6.336 divided by 7.2 which is equal to 0 0.88. If we know Q, we can find P, because P is equal to 1 minus Q, which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.88, which is equal to 0 0.12. Now, knowing P, we can find N using the expected value. So therefore, the expected value of x is equal to NP. Therefore, 7.2 is equal to 0.12N. Therefore, N is equal to 7.2 divided by 0 0.12, which is equal to 60. So n is equal to 60 and p is equal to 0 0.12. b. Find the probability that x is less than or equal to 5. We know that n is equal to 60, p is equal to 0 0.12, Therefore, we use a binomial CDF for x is between 0 and 5. Therefore, the probability that x is less than or equal to 5 is equal to 0 0.25 nine which is twenty five point nine percent